High Life is a 2019 science fiction drama horror film directed by Claire Denis. It stars Robert Pattinson, Mia Goth, Andre Benjamin, and Juliette Binoche as death row prisoners who are on a spaceship shooting off into the cosmos as part of an experiment thanks to them being on death row. I'm including High Life as part of my 100 Days of Horror. Uh, if you're coming to this review because you searched for High Life and you came across it, welcome. Right now at City of Geek, we're in the seventh day of 100 Days of Horror, which we watch 100 horror movies you haven't seen on the approach up to Halloween. Old, new, everything else in between. And this is the first one I've watched from this year. And I know what you're thinking. This is more science fiction drama of Robert Pattinson trying to raise a baby on a derelict spaceship. Uh, but there is a lot of horror here. I ended up choosing it for this because it was talked about in the horror community. And there are enough horror elements now that I've seen it uh, of the things that happen and what happens to people here in the spaceship uh, that definitely slide it into the genre. It's not a solidly horror film, but there's enough within there for me to account as part of 100 Days of Horror. And this is a beautifully shot, incredibly well acted, strongly written, film. It's one of my favorites of this year. This is probably in my top five at the current moment. I have to check my letterbox to see where it actually falls in. Follow me on letterbox as well. Find the link at cdb.com and look into the 100 Days of Horror. Just a little plug for ourselves there. Particularly in the way that it builds a story. We open up with a... I'm not going to go into the entirety of the plot, but we do open up with a empty sots of a spaceship, as, as you do. There's uh, a couple boots in the ground that might be attached to somebody, some blood on the wall, and then only Robert Pattinson and a small child. So you open up the question of what happened here and why. Over the course of the next hour and 50 minutes, uh, we have two different stories going on. One of this child growing up and him trying to figure out what he's doing and how to keep the ship moving. And then we also flash back, um, mostly in order, but not always, with everything that happened to set up who they are, what happened, uh, as things start to fall apart, because when you get any story like this, Event Horizon, Sunshine, even Space Mutant, if you want to count that for my Mystery Science Theater fans out there, yay! You eventually have people who start to crack, and everyone starts getting up, and Space Madness! That's in, and uh, things go horribly wrong. Um, and part of watching a movie like this is you expect that, but also starting out with this spaceship with some of the remains, uh, this tells us, you know, shows the hand early on of that we know this is where we're going to go. So it's not a surprise to the to the viewer. Uh, Claire Denis knows that this is where it's going. Everyone knows. And more of the how it happens and then how to survive. Instead of just the watching everything fall apart, we get a lot of Pattinson doing his best to keep everything up on his own, raising his daughter on the ship, and really moving forward after all the bad. Uh, so it's not just everyone goes mad in space type movie, but an exploration of loneliness and what happens because it's really sad and beautiful what happens both to the first people and then everything happens since. Denis does a great job of balancing the flashbacks and the present, and having the flashbacks as they should reflect upon what's currently happening but not in a very direct way such as like say Slumdog Millionaire or doesn't feel like it's slapped actually dropped in randomly. Yeah, looking at you. It really helps that it's built up by a several amazing performers. Everyone here is absolutely solid doing their best work. Robert Pattinson is a great actor that too many people have just shoved in the twilight box and called it a day. Same thing with uh, Kristen Stewart where she's not on this, uh, but she is a really great actress when you have the right roles to them as is any other actor. Just because they were in a couple crappy teen movies 10 years ago doesn't mean that they should be perfectly regulated to. I've seen people bitching about him playing Batman. Check out this, check out Good Times, check out Cosmopolitan. Don't Remember Remember Me, that is an awful movie that was all about the Twilight fame. Uh, but then Kristen Stewart, when you look at like Runaways and Personal Shopper and a whole bunch of other things. Uh, Taylor Lautner is an awful actor. Watch Abduction if you want that. It's a laugh. It's a fun, it's a fun time. And we John Singleton made that piece of shit. Patterson and Stewart are both amazing performers and too many people I don't think saw this, saw that they said he was involved with simply because he was Edward in Twilight. And of course Julia Benoche, who's in so many Claire Denis movies, is fantastic as well. Uh, Andre Benjamin does a solid performance. We don't see a lot of him, but he does enough of what we have here. And same thing with Mia Goth. And she has a really horrific sequence, a good way into the movie. A lot of bad things happened to her and it felt really bad for her along the way. A lot of that horror is directed at her or people she's close to. Uh, gore fans, there is a decent amount of blood in a couple of different sequences, uh, including one around a event horizon. The production design is, is fantastic of the ship. Uh, it feels like a cobbled togetherness uh, that it has, a real, has a real 70s vibe to it. It's something I like to throw out when it comes to science fiction. Uh, so 
because that's where like a lot of my science fiction is the, that 70s style with the look of the alien, uh, silent running. Uh, Prospect that came out last year. I've been I've been talking about uh, Prospect so much. Uh, it's on Hulu now. Uh, just a review on the website. Check it out for a new movie from last year that really gets the feel of 70s sci-fi uh, and westerns and such. Uh, so. Of course, it's a review for Prospect in the middle of the review for uh, High Life. But High Life is an incredibly well-balanced, well-designed film that moves forward on these multiple tracks uh, very deftly. Robert Pattinson is absolutely amazing in a mostly isolated role uh, and everyone else building around him to set up to where he's at and where he goes forward uh, really helped build the story. The only thing I would say is that I wish I did have more time with some of the side characters. Uh, maybe a 10 minutes more of a movie. This movie could have been a little over two hours and been just as good uh, to find out more of the, the interactions between everyone on the ship because that's that really builds a lot to the drama as things go where they go uh, and also the the loss of them and where that emptiness if we get a little more to know about them so we, so we feel the loss a little more uh, but maybe a couple extra uh, minutes uh, of that would have been great but ultimately does some very surprising things outside of the, what you expect from this type of movie. But High Life is something I incredibly recommend. It's now out on disc. I got this from Netflix, but I'm sure it's out and about in other forms. Uh, it's released by A24, so that's enough to tell you that you want to see this. If you like the the other works that they put out, uh, of course, distribution house doesn't mean it's quality of across the board, but the style of movies that they, that they like to gravitate to, you'll see that here. Uh, so High Life is one of my favorite movies of the year. Uh, this is an A-plus film, uh, straight up. I want to recommend to everybody, and hopefully that Hopefully this, uh, if, you, if you're on the fancy form, go and check it out. So check in tomorrow for one for the next episode of 100 Days of I'm not going to tell you what it is because this one is a surprise and it's horrifying. But you're not going to like it. No. Right. Anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share this out. Uh, if you came in from outside, go to cityofgeek.com to check it out. I'll go there anyway. Uh, see what else we're working on. It's so mostly 100 Days of Horror at this moment. But I'm put up uh, once upon in Hollywood soon. Uh, the Lion King, a couple uh, reviews that have been on the back burner will be released uh, in the next couple days before I go on vacation for a week. Uh, so thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time with surprise movies.